Hi, I'm Stephen Feinberg, Executive Director of the Rhode Island Film and Television Office. Our guest tonight is a great, great composer. I like to call him the maestro. He's from Milan, Italy, and in 2006 he came to Rhode Island, where he is now an American citizen. I want to welcome my good friend and super talent, Mauro Colangelo. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks for having me. Welcome uh, to Double Feature. Thank you. So, Mauro, you started out as uh, you grew up in Milan. Correct, yes. And you were a rock and roller, right? <laughs> I, I had my moment. What brought you to America? Um, a combination of things, and one of which is music, obviously. And, um, you know, more opportunities, more uh, room to experiment and, you know, do new things, more things. Yeah. yeah. Now, you, you do um, feature films, you mm -hmm. do the, uh, you compose for feature films, you short films, music videos, uh, experimental films, multimedia commercials. I've yeah. seen so much of your work and it's so diverse. Um, what's some of the favorite stuff that you've worked on? Um, each, I think each thing um, has something that I really enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, in the process. Commercials for some reasons, like for example, commercials are always been, uh, has always been interesting to me because in 30 seconds you have to convey a lot of emotions. And, um, and you've done so like, that's a what? challenge. You've done like no, Nike commercials? I've done Reebok. Reebok. In America I've done Reebok. I've done Alex and Annie. Yeah. Uh, the Super Bowl commercial of three years ago I did and a few others for them. Um, I've done Coca-Cola. I've done... Um, Sprite, I've done uh, Mattel, I've done all the Italian cars. Okay. Oh, wow. Alfa Romeo, Fiat. Uh, I was the um, official composer for Ferrari for a few years. Do you prefer um, when a director gives you a film with the Tem tracks, or do you prefer not to have the Tem tracks? I know, I don't know how John Williams and Steven Spielberg work. I know like, one time John Williams, uh, Steven Spielberg had a Tem track for Jaws, and John Williams said, no, 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 <laughs> this is not the right music. But do you prefer to have a, a, a film delivered to you without a Tem track or with a Tem track? Um, <clears throat> I, I, I like either way. Um, also, I the goal for me the goal for me it would it would be to have um, to make the director comfortable, you know, meaning like you know he uh, explained it as much as he could. Um, he explained the way he envisioned the music along his his movie, and to me, it's because it's not my movie. Um, I'm working. Uh, to put music that uh, you know works with the with with, with the intention of the, the film, so um, temp track sometimes are helpful. Um, the risk is that some people get married to it, and so it's difficult to mm, to do something that it's uh, it maybe as good it. but different. Um, but I don't mind it. And um, s but you know sometimes when the relationship between a director like. Um, becomes a little bit more intimate and so we know each other a little bit better. The phrase, do your thing, it's more often than not. too many notes because he's not doing like that or like yeah that boom, that boom, that boom. yeah open the pedal no So that's pretty clean. And I'm gonna let go for a long. So just hold it until you tell me. Yeah, all right. Tell me when you're recording them. Right. All right. It's recording. So.
Tell me about the importance of spotting and, and explain what spotting is. Yeah. Okay. So that's a, a very, very crucial moment because it, it always happened uh, before I start writing. So the first five, six times that I watch the movie, it's like to understand and, and, to, you know, and try to place the music in my head in some spot and I take notes and stuff. And um, so when I, when I do that, I, did, I do it on my own usually. Um, and then I revise it like you know on my own like five six times, and then I you know I call the director and I say why don't we sit down and I tell you where I see I and see that would the be, music. And that would be considered a spotting session. Yeah, yep. yeah. And then so you get I I understand what the, what's the director direct, director takes on it, and usually um, you know he has great ideas and they say like no I mean why don't you know, we do this instead of that and blah blah blah. So we come up with like uh, where we want to have the music for sure. You know, there are some areas usually that the first spotting session you are not covering because it's like, I don't know about that, blah, blah, blah. Depends on the music. And, yeah. So that, now with that in, as a reference, you can start writing and, um, and place it, you know, in, in those, you know, particular, particular spot in the, in, in the movie and, and you see if, it, if they work or if you want to change your mind. Yeah. So... That's, that's pretty much how it works. Then I go back to the, direct, the director and say, okay, this is the main theme from that character, so why don't we check it out? I mean, it's, it's, I think it works, but we should end it for, uh, earlier, for example, than yeah. what we thought. And, and we, we, we kind of decide and make decisions at that point. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And really it is another part of the toolbox of filmmaking is the music. And you might have like a, a character that might have a, uh, some music that plays behind that character and it might start out dark and then it might lighten up towards the end. But yeah. you're, you're using that as a tool, a subconscious tool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's so many uh, uh, subtleties on, on music that can change completely the vibe of what's going on and it visually. Can also, yeah. I think about, too, in, in a film like Psycho, yeah. where Hitchcock didn't want music and Bernard Herrmann, the composer, said, oh, no, 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 let, I, let me play. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the power of Jaws, too, with, with the music conveying yeah. that the shark was there, whether you saw it or not. Why? I mean, uh, a, of course, I, I, I love my job, and I know how important it is, the music, but truly, I mean... Yeah, and it's it's a vital part of the movie. There's, you know, you can change, uh, you can change the the outcome of a situation just by the music. And yeah. uh, and as they say, you know, the movie doesn't look good until it sounds good. And it's kind of true. Yeah, well, you you make each film sound good. Oh, thank you.